Hey coders and welcome to episode 2 of our Gmail servers playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about getting threads. So what exactly are threads? Well, when you first enter into your Gmail, you'll be presented with a screen that looks something like the top left hand diagram. So you have all of these rows and each of those rows is called a thread. So what's the difference between a thread and a message? Well, some threads only have one message in them. Let's take for instance the third row on the top left hand diagram. You'll see the sender Google and then there's a little 9 next to it. So when you click into that you'll see in the bottom right hand corner they have multiple messages in that, in that thread. So again messages are contained within threads. That's just some lingo and it's important to know. So the top six methods that I use for getting threads are get inbox threads, get star threads, get spam threads, get trash threads, get chat threads, and then just the generic get threads. So let's dive into the code and see what we got going on. Back in the code editor you can see that we have a lot of stuff already written out, but that is just because I wanted to do less typing and more learning. So we have the methods such as get inbox threads, get star threads, get spam threads. Again, all of these methods are accessed directly through the Gmail app, so that's very simple. So if we type in gmail app dot get spam threads, you can see that it will return an array of gmail threads. So all of these methods displayed here are accessible through the gmail app with the exception of one, and that is get threads. So get threads is accessible as a method accessible through the class gmail label. So we haven't gone over that yet, but I thought it was still worthwhile to put it in this video. Basically, to get a gmail label, you have to type in a, in a method, so for this case we have get user label by name and then we type in the name of our label and then after that we can get the threads. So our label name is miscellaneous and if we go back into our Gmail we can see that we indeed have a label called miscellaneous. So that will basically, basically be getting the threads from that label. Great. So after we stored all of these in a constant then we are going to log them all. So I'm logging the array itself. So again, this is going to return a, or an array of Gmail threads. And so we're going to log that. But then we're also going to log the length of that, an array, of that array. So that will tell us how many of these threads we have in each of these inboxes, or in each of these mailboxes. So let's just save it. And we'll run it. And we'll view the logs. And the logs are taking some time, but in the meantime, I'll just explain what this comment down here is. So I wrote this and commented out just because I wanted to have a reference of what we had actually logged. As you can see, we can't really move this log pop-up box, so we can't really see what we logged, but this is just for reference. Okay, great. So now we have our logs and save. So for the inbox threads, we can see that we have 17 threads. And here is the array of threads. Again, we're just getting threads. We don't really know what's in that thread. We don't know the messages in there. So really all it's returning is a Gmail thread. So let's verify some of these numbers. So our inbox, it says we have 17 threads. So let's go into our inbox. Indeed, we're in our inbox. So if we count up all of these rows, we can see that we have 15. So why, why is this saying 15 and this is saying 17? Well, it's because we are just opened on our primary tab right now. So the inbox includes primary, social, and promotions. So if we go into our social, you can see that we have three records here. But this record right here, episode 1.5.1, I have starred it, which put it in the primary, in, or primary tab. So this is actually being double counted in a way. So we just want to count this once, and then here are the other two. So we have 15 plus these two makes 17. So that's great. And then we have nothing in our promotions tab, so that's our 17. Let's just look at our starred length now. So it says starred mailbox. We have one thread in there. So let's just look at our mailbox, and indeed we have only one thread. If we look at the spam, we have zero. That's great to hear. The trash, we have four. Chat we have one, miscellaneous we have two. Let's just verify one more. So the chat says we have one Gmail thread in there. If we go back into our 
Gmail, you can already see that we have just one chat message. So this is a Hangout message, which is the same as a chat message. Uh, but let's just go into the mailbox and check it out. So here it is, right here. So that's just the, the one Hangout message, and it is verified right here. Great. So there's one more thing I want to do before I, before I close out this video, and that is type in some of these optional parameters. So if you remember, they, this git inbox threads, or all of these really, have optional parameters, a start and a max parameter. So let's just type that in, git inbox threads. Again, here it is, start and max. So these two optional parameters say, if you want to, if you want to get a certain subsection of your mailbox, so let's say you just wanted the first, let's say you just wanted the first two, and so you would say, okay, start, so it's going to be zero indexed, so you start at zero, and then max is how many, how many of these threads do you want? So I just want two. So again, it's going to start at zero, it doesn't have to, you could start at four, but if you say you want the first two, you would start at zero, and then you would say, I want two. So let's just save it, and we'll run it, and we'll view logs, and you can, as you can see, we only have two threads now in our in our inbox threads constant. So that's great. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.